Hey guys, it's Nate and Scott from playercourt.com. Today we're gonna to talk about why you struggle with the continental grip and how to fix it. This video is for players of all ratings, but if you're not in the player court community, be sure and check it out for free and get your own player court rating. We've all heard the continental grip is the preferred grip for a successful volley. And we're gonna talk about a variation of it today that'll make it much easier. But it's not just what grip you're using on your volley, but it's also about where your grip is on the racket. We're gonna talk and show you both of them today. The continental grip can be really difficult to master, especially when you're just starting out. One of the biggest problems is in order to find the angle, especially when we're trying to keep the ball out in front, if we're just learning it, we have a tendency to overturn in order to keep the racket straight ahead. And this keeps the racket behind us making contact late and making the shot not all that effective. The biggest piece that I've experienced from feedback from my students is the lack of support with the continental grip. Oftentimes when they go to hit volleys, they don't have enough of their hand behind the racket and they feel flimsy, especially on the top part of the racket. This also reinforces wanting to hit it later in order to have the elbow support the racket. And finally, the continental grip can make it a little bit tough to have feel and changing direction on the volley. Now, once we've mastered it, it's just the Swiss Army knife. It gives us everything we need. But even at the highest level, we see a variation of the continental grip, including the Brian brothers, that is a just slightly over. It's still continental grip, it's just a variation. And this is what we're looking at. So the continental grip, the index knuckle, is on bevel two. But this variation, we're gonna go like two and a half, 2.5 if you will. And so instead of just being on two, I'm gonna slide the grip so it's slightly between bevel two and bevel three. And this is gonna change the joint position and it's definitely gonna change the feel. It's gonna feel like I have a whole lot more support behind the racket and it's also gonna keep me from swinging too much. All right, but on high volleys especially, we're gonna find a lot more success and on low volleys, a whole lot more feel. The dexterity is gonna be there to change direction and give us a much more successful volley. We're gonna jump into demos to show you exactly what we're talking about and then up next is Scott to talk about another important piece of hand placement on the volley. No, you missed. <laughs> We'll get back to coaching in just a second, but first, we sincerely appreciate you watching our channel, and as a thank you, we want to give you our six-part Net Mastery video course for free. This course will help you dominate the net, and we normally sell it for 100 bucks, but if you stick around to the end of this video, we'll give it to you for free. All right, let's get back to the coaching. All right, guys, so the Continental Grip, or the 2.5 version of the Continental Grip, is super important. There's another piece of information here you really need to master, and that's where exactly to place your hand on the grip in terms of how far high or low up on that grip you want your hand. And the mistake that a lot of us make is we actually hang the heel of the heel pad of our hand off the bottom of the racket. A lot of us hit forehand ground strokes with that heel pad hanging off the butt cap, and since we're used to that, we come up to the net and just transition that grip and continue to hang that heel pad. It's actually gonna provide you a lot more stability to take that heel pad and slide it up when you volley. And I want you to think about this. For all the reasons we like the heel pad off the racket on our ground strokes, all that flexibility, all that whip we can generate, we don't want any of that on our volley. So to get rid of it and create a more controlled more pop on our volleys, we're gonna slide that heel pad up. Do me a favor, press like if that instruction helps. Also, please press the subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber, it really helps our business a ton. Let's take a look at some footage of that heel pad in the right place.
All right, guys, so in closing, the important points are if you're struggling with that continental grip, shift it over between bevel two and bevel three, that two and a half, bevel 2.5, and work or volume with getting your hand back behind it. Yep, and point two, make sure the heel pad of your hand is not hanging off the bottom of your racket. Get it up there so you have more control and stick on each volley. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, we've got some gifts for you down in the comment section. If you look at that first comment, you'll see a link where you can try a free trial of our community if you're not in there already. And you'll also see a link to our volley mastery course. So if you want to take a deeper dive on everything that is volleys, be sure and check that out as well. We'll see you guys soon.